Hello one and all, it's Team Traction here and today is part two of the Class 37 Farewell. So after that mega thrash fest coming out of Acle and Lingwoods, you see remains of um, the double track. You can clearly see it used to be double track here, um, and noted by the bridge and the gap between here and the hedges, as opposed to the other side. Well, with the distance signal clear and the advanced warning speed sign, we are now approaching Brundle and the junction to come back onto the line to Norwich. Well no. <laughs> Not bad, you. As you can see, even the guards are in the spirit of things today. Very emotional day for all. But now, leaving Brundle, Liam hopped off the train to get a good alternate view of the departure. Speed away, going over the level crossing, We've got a good horn, some good thrash. As always, like I said, Liam, the other member of Team Traction who was with me today, uh, he decided to um, alight at the gravel uh, so he could watch the departure and watch the arrival. So we picked him up on the way back towards Lower Stuffed. So here is that alternate view shot at Brundle, taken through the slats of the footbridge, so enjoy the thrash.
and here we are speeding back towards Norwich. Past a class 170 and we passed Brundle Garden Station. Um, which like I said in the last episode um, is one of the few stations that is not open at the moment uh, because of the class 755 units, the new ones that are replacing the 37s, the 170s and the 6s. Um, they unfortunately for some reason can't open all their doors at the moment. Uh, they don't have selective door opening, uh, which is quite a strange feature for a county that has a lot of short platforms. I thought would have thought that would have been an implemented feature from the get go. Sherringham at 14 and 4 number 5, then down 5 and stop on Norwich. Yeah. Oh, I think it's both stars, they're both stars in the middle. What's it? What do you call the three? So six six. One five six. One seven six. No, one five six. One five six, we're just not near you. Yeah, you don't have any head for it. your last shift on them? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And here we are on the arrival platform 6 at Norwich. For some it's their last shift including the guard and driver who was on today. Uh, so it's an emotional send off for both of them. And now continuing my tradition um, of footplate um, access on steam engines, but this time on diesel. Yes, we got to go in the cab of 37424 at Norwich, um, which is quite surreal for me actually, going on a cab of a mainline diesel. Uh, not something I've ever done before, it's really, really nice. <laughs> Now something from Liam's point of view, as the semaphore goes up, that means our train is nearly here, back at Brundle.
them down and of course how they come in. Uh, they So we're now back on the train, Liam's back with us, we're heading southeast on the main track and we're heading towards Lowestoft. We'll be passing through Buckingham Station as the trains don't call there today, uh, but we'll be stopping at Cantley, Reedham, Haddiscoe, Semelayton, Oldham Broad North and finally arriving at Lowestoft. So the uh, railway is also home to quite a diverse selection of wildlife. Seen here, a huge flock of birds flying parallel uh, with our train. That's quite a nice country scene, I think. Yeah, they are there, probably feeding on the farmland. But they're all, you can see, all flying parallel. And yes, all golden fields. Late September. This is quite idyllic. But we're now approaching um, Buckingham or Buchanan, however you pronounce it. And as stated previously, we will be passing straight through. So, there's not much more for me to say, really, uh, so please enjoy the next few minutes uncut footage of the journey towards Canada. So here we are, we're about to depart Cantley, 
and get ready for some more thrash. So a little bit about the wherry lines themselves, the branch that we're on currently, um, which is Norwich to Great Yarm via Reedham, was opened, it was the original branch, it was opened in 1844, um, but then in 1847 uh, the line was added uh, from Reedham down even further south towards Lowestoft, and that was part of the what was then called the Norfolk Railway. The first part of the line that we travelled on, um, the one from Norwich to Yarmouth via Acol, was not opened until 1882, so quite a lot, well, quite a substantial time later. So here we are arriving at the beautifully kept Regent Station. As you see the platforms are a lot shorter than they used to be. Um, but there's room for upgrades. So as we uh, leave Freedom, uh, we're passing some major works that are going on, and as we're now coming off here, you'll see this line as we just come off with the stop um, piece of wood. That is the original line that goes up to Yarmouth via Burnie Arms. And you could just see by the condition how rusty that track was that that is the reason why they're not using that branch at the moment. Hopefully the services will be reinstated um, because Network Rail have given no set date for them to be reinstated. Um, they've been delaying it and delaying it and it's getting a bit worrying. I hope they don't, I hope they don't close the line altogether. Um, but it is, a poss it is a possibility. So hopefully that's not the case. Anyway, as we come round this curve, uh, it's a 20 mile an hour curve, it's quite tight. Um, it has to turn 90 degrees in quite a short space. Um, we are coming around and we'll come under the bridge. There's another one of the semaphores. Uh, coming under this bridge here, uh, which is marks where the famous Reedham Spring Bridge is, which we are now crossing. And here it is. Lovely trundling sound as we go across. Okay, limited to 20 miles an hour because of how old it is and it's open. It opened with the rest of the line and it's still the original structure which just is a testament to well one the engineering quality of the time and two uh, how long it can withstand. It's, it's quite incredible.
So we're back on to flats again. Um, this is just south of Reedham. Uh, as you see, coming up is the 60 sign, and we will accelerate and come down one parallel to one of the rivers towards somewhere later. This bit is by far the noisiest piece of the trip, going at 60 down this straight, uh, the noise was just insane, um, so I have basically nearly muted the video, um, but yes, it, what a ride, um, it's, it's just an awesome ride down here. So as we pass under the main road, that is the main road that goes from Dis all the way up to Yarmouth. Uh, I use that road a lot as holiday makers. Um, we are now coming into Summer Leighton Station, where we will call it a day for this part of the episode. This has been part two. Expect part three in the next few days. We'll be wrapping up the rest of the journey. Uh, to Lowestoft and then back to Yarmouth where we will say the final goodbye to the Class 37s. See you in the next video.